Ma, I mean. There's no nut. No. no uh. You gotta mix it, it in with the other smell flavors. Bad. I don't think it smells bad. I think it smells horrible. I'm just gonna give myself just a little. Well, I'll probably need a little bit more than that. More than that. Might be regretting that, but. <laughs> Welcome to Omni's Eat Vegan. I'm Jessica. Nick. I'm Neil. And I'm John. In today's episode, we're trying... Forger. We're trying Forger brand. Forger brand. Dairy-free, drinkable cashewgurt. Cashewgurt. And we have wild blueberry. Yes. Trish's going first. Everyone likes blueberries. We're going strawberry. Uh, strawberry. And then the last is unsweetened and plain. Me? We're not looking forward to the unsweetened plain one. <laughs> Me always. So even like our, our almond milk and stuff, we usually get it sweetened. Right. Or, um, or vanilla. Yeah. So we're not necessarily really looking forward to that one. But we're going to start with the blueberry we one. We are. So. Yeah, everyone likes Blueberry. <laughs> not that. Not <laughs> 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for you? Okay. Yeah. It tastes like blueberry. And it smells like blueberry as well. It does have very creamy. Okay, well, I, I'll say, I'm going to give it like an 8 out of 10. I don't think the blueberry flavor is overwhelming. I think it is very nice and creamy. Mm -hmm. I do like that. Um, I did not have very high hopes because we did try the forage or cashew milk, and I didn't like the forage or cashew milk. I don't remember liking it at least. In fact, I think none of us really liked it all that much. No. But um, So I was a little concerned about these, but we figured we'd give them a try anyway. Uh, but I think it tastes good, yeah. and it's nice and thick, nice and creamy. So I'll give it an 8 out of 10. I mean, it's not the best yogurt type drink that I've ever had uh, but I, I I have a fondness for some like protein drinks vegan like some of the vegan oh, protein you're drinks to a vegan protein yeah drink. yeah I, I can't say that I've ever had even like a dairy yogurt drink honestly I don't really uh, Nick and prefer, I have. okay so yeah I don't I don't uh, really like dairy yeah. dairy ones so I don't really drink Dad? them so uh, I'm gonna give it an eight out of uh, yeah I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten it's mm -hmm. I mean if you're if you've had the dairy, uh, what would be considered kefir or yogurt drinks, um, this is a easily this is a one for one. There is no comparable difference. Okay. Um, it's just as smooth. There's no nut flavor noticeable to me. Um, it's it's just a good. I mean, if you're saying I'm done with dairy, this and you, you like yogurt drinks. and you like yogurt drinks, Forger has replaced it. And that, good. There you go. It's That's it. impressive. Eight out of ten. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go with a turkey with this and go eat it. Uh, what? It's a, it's a bowling reference. Yes, I know it's a bowling like reference. All those turkey. great bowlers out there who are oh. vegans. So uh, what? What? Why did you give it an eight out of ten? What do you think of it? Yeah, it's not. It's not bad. It has a good flavor. Yeah. Uh could be a little bit sweeter. Jeez, I don't think it needs to be super sweet. Oh, yeah. But anyway. Time All right. Nick, next Nick, we're gonna go Nick for. Next said ten out of ten. Nick, oh, cool one. Yeah, but it tastes like blueberry and smells like blueberry. Indeed, sir. Okay, so the strawberry is the next one. I'll be honest with you, I think this is probably, probably the one much. I'm looking for. For I was looking forward to the most. So. You made it 10 out of 10? Yeah, boy. Or just teeny tiny bit. That's weird. Mm hmm. More? Mm hmm. Okay. Hmm. That's. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10. Um, whoa, there's a tang there. <laughs> there is a bitterness to that. There's definitely a bitterness to that. <coughs> you don't drink a lot of it at a time. I, was, I just took, I could just took a, like a huge gulp and like it all hit the back of why, my throat. Why would you give it a 4 out of 10? I don't enjoy it. Um, it's a lot more tart. I wish tart strawberry than sweet. Like, more, it's a lot more of a tart strawberry <laughs> flavor than I'm used to. Yeah. And like it's just it's not a common occurrence to have that flavor. Dead, um, dead. Mm, now see So I'm gonna give it a four out of ten, I just don't enjoy it. Um <clears throat> I'm gonna exactly give this dead? I'm gonna actually give this an eight out of ten as well. Because I eat a lot of fresh strawberries and you often get tart strawberries with because we I don't put sugar on them. I just eat straight out of the container fresh strawberries. And well, some of them are tart, some of them are sweet. More often than not, the ones you get in the grocery store are going to be more tart. Yeah. And I don't think this tastes different from a fresh strawberry, actually. Um, but again, I don't, I don't like sweeten my strawberries or anything like that. So if you like fresh strawberries and you get them from the grocery store and you know what I'm talking about when, you're ta when I'm talking about like the tartness, 
Yeah. Um, That's the tart we're talking about. Yeah. It's not, it's not a natural or anything like that. No, no, no. It, it's this tart strawberry flavor, yeah. like a fresh strawberry flavor. So um, I I don't normally get strawberries from like farmer's market. I'm not, I'm not saying that buying from a farmer's market is bad. I would love to buy from a farmer's market more often. I just don't have access to them. I have to go, like we have to go at least 20 minutes or so to get to our closest farmer's market because a lot of like the in-town farmer's markets that are close to us are only like during the day on a Wednesday or something right, like yeah. that. And we work. So yeah. um, anyhow, uh, I definitely, I, I'd like this one. I actually like this one better than blueberry just because I prefer strawberries over blueberries. But they're, if you're going to look to buy them, I'd give them both an 8 out of 10. I, I'd give this an 8 out of 10 as well. I don't, I mean, pardon me. Uh, the, the strawberry's not unnatural. The tart is a little bit. You I mean, if you're not, if you're not familiar with that tartness yeah. of a tart strawberry, it is going to be off-putting, like Neil sort of indicated. If that being said, if you're used to it, it's, it's going to be a simple drink. Um, it, I mean, it's just as smooth, yeah, easily, you know. And like I said, I haven't tried the the dairy versions of these. It's, it's a one-to-one, -one. I mean, there's no discernible difference other than a little bit more tart here than, than say there. A little, I, I almost want to say this is a little less processed, but that's just me being, I, that's just me trying to favor a product that I like. So, Nick, what do you think of strawberry? Hmm. Say 10 out of 10. He's going 10 out of 10! Good job! Yeah. Loves them, loves them Now okay. we got the plain one. All right, so I'm not looking forward to the plain one. Yeah. Did you do you shake it again? We shook all these before we started the camera, so. Yeah. <laughs> Nick, here you Just go, buddy. Just teeny tiny bit. One out of ten. What? You really? Um, um, even though I mixed it with the strawberry, it's no. still, still, I didn't like it. Um. I'm not, the thing is I'm not really a fan of these dairy, these, not dairy, these yogurt-ish drinks. I'm not a big fan of drinking them. Not if you, I don't even really eat yogurt. I don't know what it is. I just don't like that whole like weird te uh, creamy texture of them. Um, and even though it mixed a little with the strawberry one, um, it just doesn't, it just doesn't. I think I saved myself more than anything. So I'm just giving it one out of 10. I just never, I don't think I'd ever drink that again, nor, f nor I'd probably force myself to drink it. You know, I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10. Um, You're thinking it was not bad? It, it's not super sweet. I think you you could easily mix this with one of these other ones. If, like, you, if you got the strawberry or the blueberry and you thought the flavor was too strong, you could easily mix this within with those. But I think the reason why this one isn't bothering me as much as it's bothering Neil is that I've had fresh coconut milk. Like we've made coconut milk, right. or not? I'm sorry, not coconut milk, cashew milk. I've had fresh cashew milk that right. we've made. Yes. And it's it tastes simple. it tastes a lot like regular cashew milk that we've made at yes. home. Minus the obviously the stuff that we made at home isn't didn't as have, thick. Didn't wasn't as thick, and it didn't have the cultures. the cultures and stuff. Yeah. So I don't mind the flavor of this. It's definitely unsweetened. It's I mean, but and, yeah. and, and because we're using the same glass. It has a little bit of the strawberry, it actually has a little bit of the strawberry flavor, not so much of the blueberry, but um, this didn't really bother me that much. It, it's not as good for me as the strawberry and blueberry, but it wasn't horrible because, like I said, I'm, I've, I've tasted fresh coat cashew milk before. Yeah, and I, yeah, go ahead. No, I'm done. Are you done? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm probably going to give this, uh, a, as a standalone product, it's, it's probably a, a four in that I would never buy it again. If I was going to buy it to mix with something, if I had a plan for it, it's a six, it's a seven, it's an eight. Because it, it, or nine. it falls into, I mean, if I'm gonna make, if I'm gonna make a shake, if I'm gonna make smoothies, and, yeah. I, wanna, and I want a yogurt base that's not complete yogurt, that's, you know, sort of creamy, that's, that's fine. That's 100% right. fine. I mean, and it's not gonna hurt, it, it's, it's non-dairy, it's got all the probiotics, the, well not probiotics, but it's yeah, got all the cultures and everything else like that already in there. So I mean, it's not, it's not horrible. I agree with you, I think it would be really good in a, in a smoothie. Yeah. yeah, but you've got to have, you've got to have something, you have to plan for it. If, it might be a little bit much to drink straight, but uh, I mean, as long as you had a plan for it, it's good. Okay. Go ahead, what do Nick. you think, Nick? Out of 
You said it, 10? You're giving it a 10 out of 10. Mm. You like that one? You like the yogurt cultures? Nick does like yogurt drinks. He does like yogurt drinks. So this he doesn't hit. like yogurt necessarily, but yogurt drinks he likes. I guess I hit the jackpot. <laughs> you did hit the jackpot, buddy. Jeez. So listen, these are all for you, buddy. I know you, you like get to drink them. You get to drink all of them. Yeah, I think overall. Nope, you get to start this one. No. no. So I think I think overall we would definitely recommend the strawberry and blueberry. Now we made a special trip to Whole Foods to and these. bought several things, and this is one of them. Um, I, I think we could definitely recommend the strawberry and blueberry if you like a little bit more blandness, maybe the unsweetened one. Yeah. We didn't see any other flavors at the Whole Foods we went to. And um, we didn't see, I don't know that we saw any other product that was dairy free, cultured yogurt, yogurt drink. drink. Yeah. yeah. So this is the only one that we've been. That we've come across yet. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, so. And, and I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised because we didn't really like the forager milk. No, but this is definitely, I, I mean, I don't know if this is where they started or, or what, but this is definitely good stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, anyhow, we hope you enjoy this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up down below. If you haven't already and you would like to be, please hit that red subscribe button. We are growing every day. Yeah. And uh, if you want to hit the little bell to get notified when we upload new videos, please go ahead and do so. And uh, if you have any comments, leave those in the comment section down below. Have you tried this Forager brand uh, yeah. yogurt milk or yogurt drink? Um, or have you tried any other ones that we could go out and look for? Because we yeah. haven't found any. No. So uh, let us know those in the comment section down below as well. Uh, we do hope you enjoyed this video, and we will see you next time on Omnisie Vegan. Bye.